Total Value Locked, TVL. Imagine you want to play and bet on an online game and you ask yourself, which game should I choose? You think hard and eventually make a choice. This choice must have been influenced by the value you gained from betting on that game. The first thing would be the betting site's return to player, RTP, rate. How easy is the gameplay, plus what bonuses are associated with the game? This scenario applies to the cryptocurrency world as well. As a crypto enthusiast or newbie investor, you may have seen TVL and wondered why the word is everywhere. Welcome to our channel, and in today's video, we will be discussing the concept of TVL, Total Value Locked. What's TVL? Why does it matter? How does it influence a person's investment choice in the decentralized finance, DeFi, system? We will discuss all this in this video, so stay tuned until the end to find out more. What is TVL? The crypto industry keeps growing at a remarkable rate. Every minute of every day, there's always something happening regarding decentralized finance, DeFi, or surrounding non-fungible tokens, NFTs. According to reports, the value of the DeFi industry locked in the top 125 apps is about $80 billion. The total value locked has become that vital factor through which newbies and seasoned investors can take on the new and existing crypto projects. The market figures keep increasing, and to keep up and track these finances, there is a need for an indicator. Investors are seeking the next big project in the crypto space, and the only way for them to figure this out is through what we call the TVL. TVL refers to the current value of cryptocurrency assets locked in staking, lending, or liquidity options. It represents all crypto funds in borrowing, lending, and transactional capacities. For any crypto project, the TVL is the value of funds staked in a blockchain node with a proof-of-stake consensus mining method or funds for lending or a liquidity pool. If you want to know what proof-of-stake and liquidity are, check out the videos in the description link below. Now, enough of the theoretical jargon. TVL is the current worth of a crypto token in lending, staking, and liquidity. Like how betting on an online game requires you to factor in the site's RTP the level of gameplay, and the amount of bonuses in your choice, investing in a token or DeFi platform requires you to know its TVL value. The TVL value will allow you to evaluate the actual worth of the token or DeFi protocols before staking in your money. TVL value is usually represented in dollars, US dollars. Still, it can also take on BTC or ETH values. Since each token has its own TVL, the summation of all TVLs across all DeFi systems equals the overall TVL of the crypto industry. According to reports, the crypto industry's TVL is valued at a whopping sum of $169 billion globally compared to $400 million about two years ago. Ethereum has the most significant TVL value as a single token, accounting for almost half of this enormous sum. All DeFi protocols TVL grew exponentially fast between 2020 and 2021. According to DeFi Llama, at the start of 2020, all DeFi platforms combined TVL was around $630 million. MakerDAO DeFi protocol had more than half of the TVL as the project grew to $241 billion by 2021. MakerDAO is still one of the largest DeFi platforms along with Curve and Aave. These protocols had a TVL of more than $10 billion each by 2021. So, TVL is the total assets of a crypto project locked in its decentralized finance protocols, such as staking, lending, and liquidity. Now, why does it matter? Why does it matter? A part of the crypto space operates using decentralized finance, DeFi systems or protocols. This system prevents banks, financial institutions, and the government from controlling money, financial services, and financial products. DeFi system also translates to the peer-to-peer -peer transacting process, which allows no one to have a monopoly on funds in the crypto space. As a way to value the available funds and determine how decentralized the means of exchange are, TVL is crucial. This is to say that you can determine how DeFi a token is through its TVL value. Due to the ever-growing popularity of the blockchain industry, 
New crypto projects keep springing up left and right. TVL helps determine how massive such a project is and evaluate its popularity through the number of active users. TVL serves as the most significant indicator of the DeFi industry. Since TVL focuses on current value and not the potential yield of tokens, it helps investors see the actual value of a crypto project. When you compare TVL to the market cap of a DeFi project, TVL signifies the present, while market cap signifies the future. We all know the blockchain industry is volatile, so the present should supersede the future. Hence, a win for TVL. TVL helps determine the health, activity, and integrity of a DeFi protocol because instead of making profits, you can easily fall into scams. You need the value of the DeFi protocols to determine which token is best for investment. DeFi platforms with TVL of over $1 billion are great investment choices. The TVL value of a coin is also a way to determine if such a token is undervalued or overvalued, giving room for more investment opportunities. A token's TVL determines how well it does in the market. The TVL value changes as users deposit or withdraw their assets. It moves with fluctuations and changes in the blockchain industry. Sometimes, a DeFi protocol's deposits are denominated in its native token. When its native token appreciates in value, the platform's TVL grows accordingly. So, you can say TVL is a crucial determinant of a token or DeFi platform's worth. The more the TVL, the more valuable the token or DeFi protocol. How to calculate TVL You can calculate TVL easily. How? Let's say an investor deposits $1,500 worth of crypto into the money pool of a newly generated DeFi platform to validate its native blockchain transactions, staking and rewards. Next, the investor lends out an additional $1,000 in crypto for generating interest on the same platform. Later, the investor deposits $1,200 worth of tokens to provide trading liquidity in a money pool for swapping between obscure altcoins, earning them trading commissions. If all these are the only investment options the DeFi platform is getting, the TVL is calculated as the sum of all financial investments through staking, lending, and liquidity. This means the TVL is valued at $3,700. It's that simple. Suppose the DeFi protocol allows investors to stake several types of tokens, which usually is the case. Each token's TVL should be calculated separately and then added together to give the sum total of the DeFi's platform. You can also calculate the total value locked in a DeFi platform by multiplying the total number of tokens staked on that platform by the current value of each token in US dollars. Suppose you have four different coins, A, B, C, and D, in a DeFi platform. To determine the platform's TVL value, you must multiply the amount staked for token A by each individual token A's current value in US dollars. Repeat this process for tokens B, C, and D, then add up the TVLs to determine the platform's overall TVL. Can you guess a better way to calculate a token's TVL? Yes, DeFi tracking sites like DeFi Llama, DeFi Pulse, and many more can provide you with the answers to most major DeFi protocols' TVLs value. This means that you need not worry your head about calculating any TVL, even though having the knowledge is not an issue. The Downside of TVL While TVL is a positive yardstick for measuring a token's current worth, several downsides exist. TVL's downside is that its health and activity in a specific DeFi protocol can be misrepresented as a valuation metric. The possibilities are DeFi protocols are often dominated by vital stakeholders known as whales. These whales use their activities and financial patterns to move the needle disproportionately regarding protocol metrics. This means that you cannot know which assets and to what percentage their TVLs are controlled by these whales. Also, a single whale can hold up to 90% of a token TVL, which is detrimental in the long run. If such a whale pulls out of the crypto project, a significant percentage of the TVL would be lost. In other words, it gives a false sense of health and activity on the protocol if the people dominating it have large percentages of the TVL value. 
Another downside to TVL is that some significant stakeholders intentionally hype the token project by pumping in funds to attract investors and new stakers. While this isn't a bad idea, its repercussions are enormous, like how it creates a false value and project activity to potential investors. It also leads to a massive loss of the investors if new stakes refuse to invest despite the hype. Therefore, while TVL is a significant indicator for DeFi trading or investments, it should not be the only yardstick for staking or investing. Other metrics, such as price to sales ratio, token supply and balance changes on the exchange, etc., should be considered before investing in a crypto strategy. Final thoughts. Wrapping up this video, we have discussed total value locked, why it matters, how to calculate it, and its downsides. Total value locked is undoubtedly a critical concept in the crypto space, especially for DeFi platforms. There are analytics software and apps or platforms where you can check out the TVL of specific tokens before investing in them. Are you still sitting on the fence regarding what crypto project to stake in your money? Why don't you check out the TVL of crypto projects that must have caught your interest? Thank you for watching until the end. Did you enjoy the video?